Well, I thought it was a good scrimmage, uh, good intensity. Um, you know, obviously, uh, Mantha looked real good uh, in our first look at him. You know, big rangy guy with a nice pair of hands and uh, was involved in, uh, I don't know, three or four goals. Martin Furk looked good. Uh, Willett, Xavier Willette looked good. Ryan Sproul looked good. Obviously, those are the guys that, you know, last year, you know, Furk helped Halifax win the uh, Memorial Cup. You know, Willette played in Canada's World Junior Team. Sproul won the Defenseman of the Year. So the, the players you expect to be good were good. I thought that... Uh, later in the scrimmage, the uh, the pace, the intensity started to die down. I think that had a lot to do with playing four defensemen, short bench. We've got a number of people hurt, but all in all, I think it was a lot. Of, I think I think the players had a lot of fun. It was good uh, opportunity for us to see some of the kids for the first time. I mean, obviously, young kids, you know, all trying to make an impression. Uh, a little bit nervous early, but I thought the game got going. You know, to me, it's just it's a development opportunity, and there are ways away from playing. Most of them, it's going to take them five years to play in the National Hockey League. They got a lot of work to do, and I think they see that when they hear. Mantha obviously had a good night. Frick had a good night. Spool can really pass the puck. Roulette looks like he's going to play. It, it's hard for the younger guys, though. You know, besides Mantha, the young guys look like young players. So you know, we only have one scrimmage. If we'd had two, I think the young guys would be better than the second one. Basically, uh, you know, I told them that they're drafted. Most guys that went through the draft since I've been here, most guys take five years to play. So you're in charge of your development plan, not your not your agent, not your parents, not your coach, you're responsible. So getting the nutrition information, getting the strength training information, and then committing to being every day, or if you do that, you have a chance. If you don't do that, you have no chance. And so they know they're in for a process. I think you're usually, when you get drafted, you think, oh, I'm gonna play right away. That's not reality. It's gonna take them some time, but most of them are doing well, and I thought today was a good day for them. It's a pretty spectacular OHL season, do you feel good that you've got some momentum perhaps coming into your first pro season? Yeah, I think so. I think a big thing for me is confidence. Um, if I can have my confidence up, then that's when my game's at my best. So um, to have that year behind me now and uh, hopefully I can just bring it in next year. What have the news told you about any sort of expectations for your game uh, coming into your first pro season? Anything? Nothing right now, no. I haven't. Uh, I've talked to Jeff uh, Blaschel and uh, He's kind of just told me he's gonna he's gonna let me know what's gonna what's going on next year and that kind of stuff. So uh, I look forward to working with him. So how did it feel out there? Felt great being out there uh, with a bunch of guys, good players. Uh, just feels good playing with around with them, playing against. Uh, we had a great time out there. What have you learned so far in the first few days of camp? Uh, that our spot isn't uh, giving up, and uh, you need to work every day. And uh, like Coach Babs told us, uh, it's really working every day and uh, working every shift. So that's what I'm uh, working on right now. Like when the season was over and we go to playoffs, you know we have to work hard. We, like you know, like we finished the first overall, like first team in the in the CHL, but like that doesn't matter anything in playoffs because every game is different there. So we were, uh, we were like, I really like it. Like playoffs, that was my first like very long run in playoffs, and I I really like it. And then the Memorial Cup, that's like the best four teams there. So you just try to do the best, and we we won the cup. So it's just amazing. What does that do for your confidence to have that success, not only individually but with the team? Oh, I'm happy for like I'm happy with you. Uh, like for me it's good like I have good season but like I think more important is the, how the team's doing so I was I was happy we, we won the two championship my last year in junior because I probably don't going I, I'm not going back so I just it was just perfect and uh, you know when you win that cup like the Memorial Cup it's, that's not too many guys from Czech won that too like so it's just perfect well, we have a pretty fun day, and uh, we have uh, we have team building, something we haven't done yet. Uh, we're going to go outside of Traverse City, uh, a little bit south. Uh, we're going to play some paintball. We're going to do a uh, military type of uh, team building exercise, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. That way, uh, guys will have a lot of fun, but at the same time, uh, we get to learn uh, who's the leader, who's the follower, uh, uh, who is the kamikaze, uh, you know, uh, go and try to make things happen and uh, so uh, it will be interesting absolutely and uh, away from the rink uh, sometimes guys are obviously different than they're on the ice and uh, we put those two together and uh, and try to project where they may be five years from now